morning, Kaufman. Today is Monday, December 2nd. I'm Sue. And I'm Amanda. And you're watching Kaufman Live. It's time for new, 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 new news. Kaufman's Cooking Club will be having a meeting this Thursday right after school in Mrs. Kuntz's room, A112. Remember to bring your $15 dues. Anyone is welcome. Environmental Club will meet this Thursday after school in A230. Sioux School Open House will be held January 23rd from 5 to 8 in the Polar Frontier classroom at the Columbus Zoo. Meet students currently in the zoo program and learn about what the zoo school is all about. Key Club is hosting a holiday social this Thursday after school to decorate ornaments. Bring a donation for the Holiday Wish Foundation and enjoy pizza and dessert. Bring all your friends. All members should attend. Also, Interact Club will be having a meeting Thursday after school in A112. Come to make dog biscuits. There will be a TI general meeting this Wednesday morning at 7.40 a.m. in the guidance classroom. All are welcome. JTI is going to Carr Middle School tomorrow from 3.15 to 4. If you need a ride, meet outside of the guidance after school. All are welcome. The African Library Project will be holding a fifth period competition all next week to raise funds to ship books to Africa. You can help others by contributing money each day. The fifth period class with the most money collected will win a pizza party. Stay tuned each day for updates on the fifth period class in the lead. Here's a video to tell you a little bit more about it. Each year, the African Library Project helps to change lives by collecting books to ship to Africa. This year, funds are needed to ship those books. The estimated cost to ship books is $500 to $600. The International Baccalaureate, Creativity, Action, and Service students want the Coffin community to contribute to this great cause. Hence, a fifth period competition will get underway to raise money to ship these books to Swaziland. This fifth period competition will begin on Tuesday, December 3rd and will end on Tuesday, December 10th. The winner of this fifth period competition will be announced on Wednesday, December 11th. Thanks to student council, the winning fifth period class will earn a pizza party. Please donate to this great cause and help to change lives book by book. Key Club, along with other clubs in their division, will be having a dodgeball tournament on December 14th from 2 to 5 p.m. at Upper Arlington High School in the freshman gym. Teams will consist of five players, $5 per person. All money will, be, will go to the Eliminate Project. Sign up at, at lunch night all next week. Ski club forms can be turned into Miss Miltner in room B157 <coughs> or the main office. Be sure to see Miss Miltner for your discount code. Free ACT pre test prep sessions are being offered by Dublin City Schools for all students registered to take the ACT on Saturday, December 14th. The sessions are now being offered online so that you may access and view it at your own convenience and your own pace. Pre-registration is required to receive online access instructions. Stop by the guidance office for more information. Do you have an idea for the Rock News Holiday Show? Drop off your ideas in the box outside room A107. Sophomore students interested in applying for the HOBY Leadership Conference, make sure to turn in your application to the guidance office before next Monday. Leanne Holcomb, daughter of PE teacher Mrs. Holcomb, will visit Dublin Kaufman on January 7th <coughs> at 10 to share her experiences with the Army ROTC at Virginia Tech. Leanne will also address questions about the other branches of the military. If you're interested in pursuing the military after high school, stop by the guidance office to sign up. <coughs> and now over to Sammy with sports. Hey Rocks, I'm Sammy with your sports announcements. Girls basketball pulled off a big win over Upper Arlington over break. Great job, girls. Their next game is home Friday against Davidson. 
Last Tuesday, the boys' swim and dive team defeated both Worthington schools, and the girls fell barely short. They have the Ned Reeb Invitational this Saturday at The Ohio State University. Guys basketball is 1-0 following their game against Mifflin on Saturday. Their next game is Saturday at ODU against Canton Timken. The hockey team split their four games this break with two wins and two losses. They had a big win against Orange where they won 2-1. to one. Great job, guys. Their next game is Thursday against Jerome at the Dublin Chiller, so all Rowdy Rock should make sure to be there. That's all I have for you today, Kaufman. Now over to Jonah with your weather. Well, it's a great week to live in central Ohio. After the football events of last weekend, we've now got good news coming from the weather side of things. High will be in the mid-60s on Wednesday, rising all the way up until Thursday. Then we're going to have a bit of a drop-off. Now your local DCWS forecast. Thanks, Coffin. If you missed any announcements, check them out on the Coffin homepage. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And happy birthday to my girl, Ellie Hackett.